Hey guys and welcome back to another lesson with me Tom. Today I've got something super exciting because I'm going to teach you all the English you need to stay in a hotel. A hotel like this one. That's right guys, I'm staying in the super stylish East Hong Kong Hotel. It's an amazing hotel and guys, I'm super excited. Let's do a quick room tour. Now a really important thing to know when using your English in any hotel is that hotel English is very formal and polite. So the staff that are working in the hotel will be using very formal and polite phrases. So for example, instead of saying, can I help you? Or how can I help you? They might say, how can I be of assistance? How can I be of assistance? It just means, how can I help you? But it's a more formal, polite structure. So. Be aware that you're gonna that you might well hear structures like that. And of course, in turn, perhaps you should also use politer structures. So for example, instead of saying I want a room, you want to use a more formal structure like um would it be possible uh, to book a room or could I please book a room? So you've got more formal structures there that you're gonna want to use when interacting with the staff. Your stay at a hotel will begin with check-in. Now this is when you go to the reception and you register that you have arrived. And you'll get your keys, find out where your room is, etc. Now this can be a noun, check-in. So check-in is at 12 o'clock, or check-in is at three o'clock. It can also be a phrasal verb, to check in. I checked into my hotel this morning. I checked into my hotel this morning. The opposite of to check in, to check out. So that is to register that you're going to leave the hotel and that you're going to make your payment. Again, this is a noun, check out, and a verb, to check out. All right, let's look at 10 really useful nouns in hotels. The person staying in the hotel is a guest. A guest. The space by the entrance where people maybe stand or they could sit, they could wait, is called the hotel lobby. The hotel lobby. Floor is the level that your hotel is on. For example, I'm on the 28th Floor. Housekeeping are the staff members that look after cleaning the rooms. So they change the linen, they change the rubbish bins, they make the beds, they keep the rooms tidy. So housekeeping. The place where you check in and check out is called the reception desk. The reception desk or the front desk as well. It's often called the front desk. And the person who works in the reception desk is a receptionist. A receptionist. That could be male or female. A view. The view is what you can see from your hotel window. Now we often have collocations, so you might have a pool view. That's a view of the swimming pool. Or a sea view. That's a view of the sea. A garden view. It's a view of the garden. You get the idea. I have a harbour view because I can see Hong Kong Harbour. It's an amazing view to wake up to, honestly. Room rate is the price of the room. So the room rates might change depending on if it's a weekend day, if it's a weekday, if it's summer, if it's high season, low season. So room rates are the amount of money that you pay for one night stay in the hotel. Let's talk about beds because beds come in all shapes and sizes. So you can have a double bed, that's for two people. Now we have different sizes then. So you can have a queen size bed or a king size bed, which I think is bigger. Or you can have a twin bed, which is two separate beds. So when you're making your booking, you'll need to request, do you want a double bed, a queen size, a king size? A wake up call is a request for the reception desk to call you and wake you up in the morning. A wake up call. Room service is the delivery of food to your hotel room by the hotel. So there'll be a kitchen somewhere in the hotel and then you can order your food and they will bring it to your room. So that's room service. I do like a bit of room service. There's kind of something very special about sitting in your bed and having your food. <laughs> okay, here are five questions that you might hear 
when talking to a receptionist. What name is the booking under? What name is the booking under? Or what name is the, re the reservation under? What name is the reservation under? Now this means who booked it? What's the name that is on the booking? So for example, for me, it'll be Tom Reese. So what, what name is the booking under? For me, Tom Reese would be the answer. So it's essentially just saying who made the booking and which name is being used, which is the main name. So you can see there, right? A formal structure to ask a question. The next one, how may I be of assistance? How may I be of assistance? That just means, how can I help you? So of course they might well say, how can I help? Or how can I help you today? All are lightly structured. So they're just asking, you know, how can I help you? Another question you might hear is, is there anything else I can help you with? Now, let's say that I've asked the receptionist to book me a taxi and they've been able to do that. Then they'll ask me, is there anything else I can help you with to see if there are more requests that I have. So is there anything else I can help you with? And I might say, oh, no, thank you. Or actually, yes, could you da 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 and then that'll be the next request. So is there anything else I can help you with? When you're checking out, you'll probably hear them say, how was your stay? How was your stay? And that's your chance to say, oh, it was fantastic, thank you, or I had a great time, whatever it might be. Or they might say, was everything satisfactory? Was everything satisfactory? Has the same meaning. So, how was your stay? Did you enjoy it? Was the quality good? Was the hotel good? Etc. So, how was your stay with us? Or how was your stay? And was everything satisfactory? <laughs> Here are five questions that you might use during your stay. What time is checkout? What time is checkout? The time that you have to leave your room. What time is checkout? Related to that might be, can we get a late checkout please? Can we get a late checkout please? So let's say checkout is normally 12 o'clock. You want to go a bit later, maybe one o'clock. That's a late checkout. So can we get a late checkout please? Maybe in the morning you need to wake up early. So you might ask for a wake up call. So can I get a wake up call tomorrow please? Can I get a wake up call tomorrow please? So that's when the receptionist will call you at whatever time you want to wake you up. Another phrase, what time is breakfast served? What time is breakfast served? So you can see there what time is really useful. You could use it for the swimming pool. So what time does the swimming pool open? What time does the swimming pool open? So what time, super useful. Or what time does the gym close? What time does the gym close? Another question is, you might want to find out what's around the hotel. So for example, is there an ATM near here? Is there an ATM near here? Or is there a supermarket near here? Or is there a good restaurant near here? So is there, and then the thing, and then near here, so close to this hotel. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that lesson, teaching you all the essential words and phrases you need to stay in a hotel. As I said before, English is fantastic for communicating when you're traveling. And there is no better place than in a hotel to use your English. So, so if you need to, watch this video again, take notes, practice some of the phrases, so that the next time you go and stay in a hotel, you'll be ready. Thank you so much again to East Hong Kong for making this video happen. I've had an amazing time in their hotel. Honestly guys, if you ever come to Hong Kong, stay in East. The views are spectacular. I have never had a room with such amazing views. The facilities are fantastic. Hats off guys. It's been an amazing experience. It's an incredible hotel. It's fantastically located right next to an MTR station. So you can get everywhere. There's a shopping mall with all the facilities that I could ever want. Oh, and have I mentioned the view yet? <laughs> Remember guys, I've got new videos every Tuesday and every Friday helping you take your English to the next level. Remember to check me out on Instagram and on Facebook. But until next time, guys, this is Tom, the Chief Dreamer in Hong Kong, saying goodbye.